Okay. James. I'm Reggie James. I'm the director of the Lone Star Chapter of Sierra Club. Uh, I'm appearing here today on my own behalf, although I do um, strongly agree with the comments that Kaiba White, who represented Public Citizen, made about the intersectionality of environmental justice and criminal justice and policing. Um, I think we have a long way to go to get there on all of those counts. But I mentioned that I'm here on my own behalf, and I'm here because I've always felt strongly about these issues. Um, when I was a kid, my father had with me what's known as the conversation in, uh, in the African-American household. And it's my dad explaining to my brother and I that we can't do a lot of things that our friends did because we're going to be viewed differently um, by law enforcement, by other authority figures, by teachers. So gauge in the same behavior, you're going to get treated differently, and I don't want you coming home in a box. And so I uh, reluctantly had to have that same conversation with my son. Didn't really think, you know, we, we don't always have that conversation with our daughters. And I kind of wish that we had, uh, had more of those conversations with our daughters. What brings me here personally is that I'm very close family friends with Morgan Rankin, who was killed by police uh, last spring or late winter. And I don't know exactly what happened. I don't think anybody other than the people that were there know exactly what, what happened. So I can't exactly judge. But I know that I questioned what happened. And when you get through a situation with that with somebody that you love very, very deeply, who's a very close family friend, I babysat her. She was raised with my kids. And I saw her just a week and a half before she was killed. She came over to the house kind of out of the blue, hung out for a while. She was kind of feeling out of sorts. And she had some pretty serious uh, emotional problems, but she was just the sweetest human being that ever lived. So, of course, I'm going to have questions about what happened. And I'm going to be feeling like something different could have happened. This is why I so strongly am in favor of having a citizen oversight committee with teeth. I think there has to be oversight. We can't let the police police themselves. They've got a full-time job keeping me safe, and I, I respect them for that and I support them for that. But they have a culture, and they have a culture of protecting themselves. And that's true everywhere. That's not just true in Austin. That's a cultural. <laughs> A uh, problem that we have, and it's a problem that we have a solution to. We do have to have very close oversight. There has to be transparency, and it has to have teeth. In a situation that I described of questioning what happened with Morgan, it, we're all going to be sad, and we're going to be sad for a long time. But I don't want to be sad and angry. I want to be in a situation where I have some confidence that somebody reviewed what happened, if mistakes were made, if it could have been done better, that we'll learn something from that, and next time we'll do it better. So I don't want to go on too long about that, but I'm very emotional about it because it really hit deep in my family and in my circle of friends, and I know that something can be done about it. <clears throat> um, I, I also want to comment on... This is kind of a unique situation, having a contract that has these kinds of provisions, both the dollar amount and the protection from scrutiny. No other profession gets that. And I understand that police are fairly unique in our culture, but no other profession gets that. Firefighters don't get that. No one else does. So I think we should be careful about the money that we're spending because it could be allocated to a lot of other uses that might prevent the thing that becomes a problem later. Thank so you, I appreciate your time, and please do not vote no on this, please. Thank you. <laughs> Gina Curtis, you can go ahead and start. Uh, and then... Um, go ahead. 